Thanks for joining us today. I'm Dr. Alyssa Willis, a staff neurologist here at the Mellon Center for Multiple Sclerosis. Today I have one of my patients here who would like to talk about fatigue. What questions do you have about fatigue? Well, here recently I'm feeling pretty exhausted and I'm just wondering if that has to do with my MS. That's a good question. Most human beings do experience fatigue at some point, but people with MS experience fatigue differently. Many surveys say that greater than 90% of people with MS experience fatigue that affects their quality of life. This can be really difficult to explain to people who don't have multiple sclerosis because it's an invisible symptom and people with multiple sclerosis all experience fatigue differently. Um, does this actually mean that my MS is active at the moment because I'm so tired? Not necessarily. So like I said, many people with MS experience fatigue and, and the fatigue can be present um, when MS is active, so when someone is having an exacerbation or a, re or a relapse, the fatigue may be worse. But we also know that people um, who have no changes in their MRI and no changes in their exam or no new symptoms can experience fatigue that is disabling. Um, is, is it possible that maybe something else is going on? That's an excellent question, and that's exactly what I'm trying to find out. When I ask you questions about your sleep, about your diet, about what other medications you're taking, and about your other medical history. Um, like I've had some labs and they've come back okay, uh, I don't snore, so is it possible that I could maybe try something else to help with my fatigue? So if, if we've ruled out medical causes of fatigue, if your B12 is normal, if your blood count is normal, if your thyroid function, your kidney function, and your liver function are normal, then what I would recommend is starting with adjustments to your routine. It is true that we sometimes use medications to address fatigue related to multiple sclerosis, but we currently have no approved medications for fatigue, and the medicines that we use off-label really don't work very well. So we start off by changing the things that are very treatable, like sleep problems, like mood disorders or depression, um, like getting more physical activity. The first thing that I would recommend for you is getting good, consistent sleep. If you're getting five to six hours of sleep per night and you wake up and you feel like you haven't been to bed, you either have trouble sleeping, for example, restless legs or sleep apnea, or you're just simply not getting enough sleep. So first, address the sleep problems. Second, you should, ha you should get some physical activity consistently. And I don't mean that I want you to train for a 5K okay. or a road race or do any type of weightlifting. Okay. That's not what I mean by having some physical activity daily. But a brief walk or some arm exercises will give you a little bit of, of energy that may carry you through the next few hours or so. Okay, um, but I am still like extremely tired. Is there anything else we could possibly try? Absolutely, when, you're, when your sleep has been addressed, when your depression or your mood has been addressed, there are no medical causes for fatigue, you're eating a healthy diet, you're getting some physical activity, then we consider adding medications for okay. MS fatigue. Now, remember I said that none of these medicines are approved by the FDA for, for treating fatigue. And, you know, to, to be honest, they don't work well for everyone with fatigue related to multiple sclerosis. There's still some things that we can try. One of the medications that we try is, is very inexpensive. It's an old antiviral medication called amantadine. It's, like I said, it's inexpensive and it has few side effects, but it doesn't work well for everyone who takes it. There are some more expensive medications that we sometimes use. Things like modafinil or armodafinil will sometimes consider for treating MS fatigue, but many times insurance companies won't approve these therapies. Okay, well thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Thanks for asking your questions. I hope I've answered your questions on MS fatigue. If you would like further information, please check out our website which is listed below.